Sup, y'all? This is OBB, the IKS News Guy. I don't know why I just said sup, but heck, I wanted to do something different for the introduction. Anyways, today, this is going to be a diecast review on a really cool diecast I picked up at my recent Circle B diecast haul video. So go and check that out if you guys haven't already, because heck, this is going to be, I guess you could say, one hot looking diecast. Jesus Christ, Brian, enough with these puns. You are driving everybody insane, including yourself. Anyways, today it's going to be on Corey LaJoy's 2021 uh, Shuttler. I don't know how to pronunciate, but I believe that's what it means. Systems, uh, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, 1LE4, Spire Motorsports. Yeah, buddy, guys, uh, this is the sequel to one of the best-selling diecasts from last year. That sold out very quickly, and I'm surprised you can still get this diecast. It's still going to be diecast. Use the promo code OBBYT for the free shipping. This thing is really damn cool, and we got ourselves a lot of other Corey LaJoy diecasts to review for the later year, but... This guy, let me tell you what, his diecasts sell. And the Spire Motorsports cars have been selling, especially what we saw from last year. But we'll get to more of that in a second, guys, as we're going to take a look at this beautiful box. I love the orange. And let's cut off the diecast review and the official unboxing of Corey LaJoy's uh, Shuttler Systems Chevrolet Camaro. And alrighty, guys, we got this diecast out of its box. And man, this thing uh, looks, uh, I'm not going to say that stupid pun again. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say it's a, it's a pretty feisty looking car. I will say that. Oh, Christ, Brian. God damn it. Can we just get on to the review? <laughs> and we are. We are, guys. But, man, what a cool-looking diecast right here. We got the return of number seven, which is not who you think I'm about to say, Danica Patrick. It is Corey LaJoy, man, with the uh, the second uh, Spire ride on a diecast, which, you know, I mean, heck, smart decision from Lionel making this diecast because not only, if you guys remember last year, how this, how all the Spire Motorsports diecasts, I'm... Um, by all, I mean the 77, all the 77 cars from last year, uh, for Ross Chastain, Justin Haley, most of them mostly sold out, and the Corey LaJoy Schuttler uh, Systems uh, 2020 car also sold out, so this was an easy decision for them to make, but I, I, Spire Motorsports still consider a small team, so it's great to see yet another small team diecast um, get produced, especially, uh, this is actually one of the first uh, small team diecasts that was produced for 2021, so I find that pretty damn cool, man, but... Um, my God! Well, what an interesting looking paint scheme, guys. Well, I say it is a bet. Is it a better looking paint scheme compared to last year's? Well, we'll get on to that in a second, guys. I mean, as you can take a look, I mean, it's basically the same number seven that they used with the seventy-seven, but they just took one away. And yeah, they kept the flame design. And this car actually has contingencies. Well, they basically took all the sponsorships that they had all over this car, which you know, the corner panel and the panels and all that stuff, the pillars. And the side skirts and they moved them all right here so i guess you could say it definitely looks like an authentic uh stock car that you know i remember growing up with with i think back in my day i remember working tendency sponsors were all over the car <laughs> but um yeah as you guys know next year they're moving the numbers but yeah what a cool looking die kiss right here so i know i'm probably butchering the name i mean you know you guys carry a comment below you're saying it wrong but whatever though um i think this is german uh we got uh uh shuttler Schuttler or Shuttler Systems, the Chevrolet Camaro logo, but we also do got this nice, um, um, like, I don't know, it looks like, like a wafer pattern right there, like, you know how, like, uh, you know, the Kit Kats and the wafers are, that's kind of describe it, like, it's not really a honeycomb, but it looks like a wafer, kind of, I don't know, kind of, kind of a weird way to say that, but that's, I, I, I like the nice little details of that, I mean, I think that, that they, that they had something like this from last year, but, uh, they kept the flames, which I love, I mean, the black, and, uh, I mean, you know your die cast is gonna look cool, your paint scheme's gonna look cool when you put flames on it, and, um, but I just noticed, guys, I don't know if this is part of the paint scheme, but if you look around the seven, it's very, very pixelated like i don't know if that's supposed to be there or that's part of the paint scheme but that's something i did not know i mean it doesn't look too bad but when you look at it pretty detailed it looks kind of looks i mean i don't want to say it looks bad but it just looks off you know what i mean like i don't know why they decided to do that maybe they did that because i think the font was going to be a little harder read maybe that's why because if you look closely if they didn't put that um there's like a shadow effect to that pixelation as well so maybe that's why i did that so i give them props they wanted to make sure we see the number correctly because you know putting a flame and a number seven right there and it's just me or is this like the same number seven uh that does this seven kind of remind you of like the furniture row 78 it kind of does i mean it has like the same coloring um to it i mean i don't know i'm definitely it definitely kind of looks like especially on top right here definitely looks like a furniture row car just remove that orange outline and put an eight right there there you go that there, there's the furniture row car i mean i just realized that until now i guess that's a shuttler logo right there on the back which is just um Okay, Brian, do you know you're freaking, uh, that's a, uh, that's a, uh, trapezoid, I believe, right? I believe? Okay, I 
might know my shapes. I don't know. <laughs> Shuttler Systems. We got some more white flames on the back. I love the flames on this thing. Really cool. Inspired Motorsport 7. The Camaro logos. Um, and this side should be the same as the other side. But look at this. We also got Circle B diecast. Boy, I love it when Circle B is on a, on a diecast. That is always cool. More flames right here. Right by where the uh, deck lid is. That is pretty damn nice. And uh, yeah, Shuttler Systems. You see right there, the Chevrolet logos are not colored. That's something that Lionel took away, or just that, that that's a, I guess you say it's a feature that they took away. I guess coloring has got expensive on the window banners. So maybe that's why, because they were originally gold from last year. But heck, who needs coloring on window banners after all? You know, Lionel for you. But this is a cool diecast, guys. I think he's already driven this car for four races, and uh, I think he started driving this car at Richmond. As you guys know, this is one of the many sponsors that carried over for him because he drove for Go Fast last year. And as you guys know, that team is no longer around. I mean, I heard they were going to they were going to still be around and go part time, but the deal never really really fell through. Um, but yeah, he first drove this car at Richmond, I believe, if I am not mistaken. I'm looking up uh, some stats right there. Um, you know, it's been a decent season so far for Corey LaJoy. He's only got one top 10. And, uh, yeah, I was at New Hampshire when the rain delay happened, and I actually saw Corey LaJoy, Bubba Wallace, and uh, one of the uh, uh, Patriots uh, players came out. And, uh, yeah, they were throwing the footballs at us. And, uh, well, football. And that was cool. That was really cool. It really made me, uh, you know, uh, uh, like and appreciate what Corey LaJoy and Bubba Wallace do um, to the sport. So, uh, but that's pretty damn cool, man, because we all know Corey LaJoy is also a big uh, fan of football. I mean, hell, he had the freaking uh, NFL uh, the alumni car, which that's going to be produced in the diecast form. I don't know about 164 scale, but 124 scale. But anyways, enough of me rambling on. Sometimes I do like to ramble, but hey, nothing wrong with that. Hope you guys understand. Let's look at the side-by-side -side comparison of last year's car, which as you see right there, it is already a lot more different. The orange is different. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I actually like last year's a lot more than this year's. I'm not saying this year's is a downgrade, but the amount of creativity that we got from last year's car, I like. I like it a lot. It was different. I mean, don't get me wrong. This year's car looks cool, but I just love, especially right here, the silver flame. That part is metallic. That is cool, man. You got yourselves, like, the flames, and then you got yourselves, like, like I said, like, uh, this, uh, especially in this area right here, it almost looks like a damn waffle now. I mean, goodness gracious, like a hot waffle. <laughs> I know that's, uh, but like, get, get, call me crazy, all right? I'm just, like, whatever my mind uh, sees, I, I'll just say it, all right? But this just, I don't know, man, and the font just looks a little more better. I mean, I could see why, like, what, like, uh, the, 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 the 2020 version got sold out very quickly, man. But um, the paint scheme is sort of similar, but there are some differences. Like, you still see it's still black on top, but just the orange is a lot more brighter, man. I mean, I wish they, the, the orange is still bright, but there's, like, a gradient. Like, it goes from, like, a bright uh, daisy yellow and then orange, and then it goes to, like, a dark orange, which is cool. I like the gradient effect. So, they went with something different. I mean, some people might actually like the uh this year's car compared to last year's i still love the bright colors so i think last year still looks a lot more better but paint scheme wise looks pretty much like how the paint scheme is laid out it's pretty damn similar oh look at that the shuttler logo guy it's a quite the upgrade look at that it's quite mega oh my god but um yeah i mean comment below which one you guys prefer better i mean I don't know. I always want to hear guys' comments and thoughts below. And plus, this is also a different manufacturer as well. You know, he went from Ford to Chevy. So, uh, you know, some people are going to be like, Trader. But hey, you know, there's no thing as brand loyalty when it comes to NASCAR. <laughs> um, as long as you're, you're loyal to your driver, that's all that matters. But yeah, guys, if you have anything else to share about these uh, about this car, comment down below. And um, yeah, post your thoughts and, and opinions down below as this is going to wrap up the Diecast review of Corey LaJoy's 2021, I'm going to say it wrong again, Schultler Systems, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1LE for Spire Motorsports. And this has been OPB, the Diecast News Guy. I'll see you guys next time on another NASCAR Diecast review.